Throughout the years of Yu-Gi-Oh, there has always been an established meta. And that meta goes on to influence what people typically play at the larger events. But what if you took a list of every deck from the September 2011 meta, randomized them, and put them into their own single elimination bracket tournament, allowing for exactly one of every different type of deck to be represented? In this series, Joe and I will be playing out a full single elimination bracket tournament. Each week, Joe and I will be playing a different deck, and whatever deck wins will move on, and whatever deck loses will be eliminated. The goal of this series is to see if the traditional meta will reign supreme, or if a new champion will be crowned. Be prepared for jank winning, meta losing, and for the format as we know it to be turned upside down. Welcome to the Tournament of Tournaments. This episode is going to be kind of weird. You see, we had a few technical difficulties, and so uh, we're kind of winging it. You know, I don't want to deprive you guys of another Tournament of Tournaments episode. So, you know, we'll explain it a bit later. But for now, let's go over the decks me and Joe are playing in this episode. So I am going to be on the legendary Junk Doppel. You guys have seen it before. This is my bread and butter. This, this is my deck. You know what I'm saying? This, this, is, this is a deck for me. You know, I, I just make it work. And I'm hoping I can take it into top four. You know, you guys have seen this all before. You know, we've got, we've got the standard synchro combos. You know, got the level eater, Junk Synchro, and all that stuff. Weak to max C, but also has absurdly high ceilings of combos, which makes it really cool. But yeah, so that's the deck. Let's hop over and see what Joe's playing. Like I said, this episode's going to be kind of weird. <laughs> All right, so Joe is on Dragoonities. You know, we've seen this. This is based on the list that Fraser Smith, you know, topped with in March of 2011. It's a really solid list. And honestly, this deck has been performing even in like regular Tengu Plant tournaments. We just saw Dragoonity win the tournament. So has had the hardest bracket out of any deck in Tournament of Tournaments. Definitely has played against some of the most difficult decks and like some of the strongest decks in the format and managed to come on top. It's hyper consistent, has high potential, and we got to see how it's going to do today. So without further ado, let's get into those games. So we're just going to kind of wing this, you know, I don't know. <laughs> 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 we'll see how it goes you know i mean it can't be worse than me just sitting there talking to myself for like you know 20 minutes yeah, um, but you know we'll we'll give our quick introduction so <laughs> tournament of tournaments episode 59 you might be surprised because you don't see joe's face up on the screen and there's a reason for that it's because when joe uploaded his video I did not have any audio attached to it. Therefore, it's just an empty thing of Joe not saying anything. Uh, so to fix this, so we don't miss another week of Tournament of Tournaments, I've invited Carpath along to help me narrate these games and share his insights on this beautiful matchup. So Carpath, how, how much do you know about the Junk Doppel versus Dragoonity matchup? <laughs> um i probably knew more about this matchup like 12 years ago when it was like a thing. <laughs> oh man i've been i haven't paid attention to the the goings on in tengu format for a while but you know what i'm gonna try to uh wrap my brain around it in this match and uh, give good commentary so let's get into it All right. see some gameplay well joe naturally gets to go first because i cooked him on infernity last week you know or not last week, like three weeks ago. We have problems. <laughs> All right, well, must suck going second, I guess. They're going to get the second Ravine, because I think Ravine's all you play in here. Oh, yeah. In terms of oh, yeah. Someone's got to try Deer Town Dragoonities, though, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's not that bad. You can pitch the, the Galtatron yeah. if you draw it. Not a big deal. Yeah, yeah, you can just ditch it with the Ravine, actually. It's pretty good. <laughs> We're already cooking. There. Anyway, probably going to activate the ravine. And this, wow, this is a pretty crap community hand, actually. What is he? 
Sendy Ackley's or something, or just... Well, this is Legionnaire, know. so, like, this is... Yeah. So, my personal thought is, given the matchup, which, like, Joe's, like, big thonk in here, obviously, but given the matchup, I think he would just go no, for so... Librarian, because, like, I'm on a full Synchro mm -hmm. deck. That's true. And that puts me in a really bad position, because if he dumps the... Uh, the two. Yeah, just like half to out it before you start getting synchro plays, or it's gonna be bad. Yeah, but with yeah, with but Ravine, with he Ravine. could just tempo me really tempo hard here, hard. especially with Judgment. You can also just search the Aquas. Yeah. yeah. Or I... he could send the Phoenix and do your play, which I don't know what he does. We'll find out. <laughs> so I do know what he does. He. He definitely goes for the Phalanx search, which I don't agree with. I think you dump the Phalanx, go for the level 5, and then set Judgment MST and just commit. I guess he just wanted to play a little slower here. I'm not yeah. sure. His hand is really bad, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> this kind of just sucks. Yeah. Well, it basically puts me in a position where I either Synchro to out his Librarian, or I just let him make Stardust on the following turn and draw two cards. Which is mm -hmm. why I think doing that is better. But he just searched and passes. And I draw that clutch Valor right Ooh, there. Valor, that's sad. <laughs> Poor community player. <laughs> they had it all set up. They were going to pitch the Phalanx and get Ducks next turn and do their play. Their one play. <laughs> <laughs> now I have this beautiful mill. Uh, Very nice. Yeah, just Average uh, turning Thunder King. <laughs> definitely what you want to see. Especially with that Junk Synchron in hand. All right, well, you just set Raikou, and you, then they try to make Stardust, and you stop them with the Valor, Lamau. Yeah, see, I thought about that, but because I didn't want... I actually right, wanted so to put gonna, him in a position here, right? We're going to Foolish, then, yep. and do a play. <laughs> yeah, I was I was big thonking, right? And, but I was thinking, like, if I just set Raikou, he makes Stardust, or, like, he can opt to make Stardust, I, like, I have to Valor, all right? But I don't really have much ground at that point. You know, it doesn't really do much. So what I was thinking is I can put him in a position where he can't make Stardust. As in, if I just Synchro with Junk Synchron and Doppel and make the, the big Junk Warrior, he can't he can't do that, you know? I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I think setting Raikou could be fine. Because, like, you could just... Yeah, you can Valor, and then you can, like, Ravine. You like, like, go you off next turn, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's possible. But I was like, hey, his hand must be dog, because he, like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you were right. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, this just applies so much pressure, you know what I'm saying? Oh, but we this fixed the Yeah, okay. Here's what's actually... He's going to pitch the Phalanx and, like, send anything and summon Legionnaire and... Well, he will get Valor, though. Yeah, it's basically, like, the way I see it is I prevent Stardust for, like, three turns by doing this, right? Like, because this Funny next, the next turn, he's going to summon, uh, he's going to attempt to summon the Ducks, and then I Valor the Ducks. Then he's still staring down the 3100 Junk Warrior, which he likely doesn't want to do anything to because he has follow-up plays, right? And then it's, like, following that, he has to make Scrap Dragon to out this, and then I'm just like at that point i feel like i just out tempo him with bls I hate to say it but watching this replay i really think the deck would be better with gear town i'm just saying sorry, he could play like ancient gear chimera and he could have still made an eight turn one <laughs> you're not wrong i mean honestly it's it's kind of it you doesn't even sound that bad <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, he gets Valor, and then he cries because he's a Trinity player. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right, well, it kills the token, and then set Typhoon, maybe. I don't even know if you want to set. Probably not. Probably just passes, just like full pass. Yeah. I mean, Typhoon's honestly a viable discard because of the fact that I'm, like, definitely not on no. back row. He knows I'm not on back row. But he, he just sets, sets it all, actually. Yeah, no, I this is it. He was this trying to bait me. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> just like, when you have a bad hand, set the entire thing, maybe, in hope. I don't know. Yeah. Then they'll, just, they'll play around it. Um, you should just be able to kill him. Yeah, and that's what I'm kind of thinking. I decide to try to... Boy. Yeah, I, I force quick draw. 
or I, I force like uh, Drill Warrior because it puts him in a weird spot. Even though I don't want to discard anything in my hand, I just feel like if he has a warning, that's what he's gonna warning. <laughs> so it's like I force it with that, and then I have BLS for follow up, and I'm just gambling that his back row isn't that good. Does he solemn judgment your Drill Warrior? He does. Don't for me. Oh, <laughs> oh, Joe, what are you doing? <laughs> Well, so his reasoning, his reasoning for solving the the drill warrior. I guess he has no out. <laughs> yeah, it's looking at his back row. He has no out. So if I banish this, like with the damage I'm going to do this turn, because he obviously has no attack negation. With the damage I'm going to do this turn, he has no way to stop the 1200 direct from drill warrior on the following turn. Mm. Which I guess I shouldn't spoil it, but yeah, he, he's definitely going to judge me here. Well. <laughs> all right the, the big boy he's coming there we go <laughs> so yeah it puts him in a in an awkward spot and then basically as soon as i saw him judgment the drill warrior i was like if that's the best card you have in this scenario because yeah, there's no way it's torrential yeah i was like there's no way it's anything else so he sees me banish a light dark he's like all right. <laughs> that, that's gonna be the light dark. okay yeah, so uh, it it wasn't it wasn't looking too hot for for Joe in game one, you know. I wonder if they should even play Pot Taverns. I th like... think so. I mean, cause it's like it, it's the same logic, right? Like, I think you're pretty safe to use cards that are like almost higher variance like, because oh, of Ravine. You just pitch it if it's bad. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that is true. And they, like, basically if you go into an extended game where you're getting Valored and stuff a lot on your summons, then if you Avarice your stuff back and get to draw again, like, it lets you search. Like, you could, like, search three ducks, put three ducks back and then search ducks again. Real issue is it needs gear towns, 100%. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Hey, Tengu Plant World Championship coming up. The Car Path Gear Town Dragoonity. It's it's been leaked. Maybe I gotta I gotta theory craft that now, actually. <laughs>
Yeah, and see, now you can see just how volatile this game becomes, because the game state's so simplified. I gotta kill this debunk here, and I'm just gonna basically pray that Stardust can carry me through the rest of this game. <laughs> mm -hmm. Might be able to. Might be able to. Yeah, we get the decree off, so I'm not getting- I know I'm not getting warning here. Always have to flip decree first, and because of warning. Yeah. Book of Moon would have ruined my life, honestly. I would have been Omega Doomed if he just books in response to the Reborn. So Big mistake here. Should have made Thought Ruler. Oh. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> so yeah, this is no, like, one darkened grave. We're just chilling. There's surely no place here. Like, you just have to set paths, right? Yeah. What could he, possibly... he can technically normal the Atlas and use its effect to summon like and to equip himself to legionnaire i guess <laughs> yeah because he can force the stardust pop but does it it would be the legionnaire's effect so legionnaire he would is link with one or actually is just on a new chain after legionnaire so yeah he just hard stardust, and then stars has to negate and then he gets to pop the decree yeah now i don't think that's good necessarily no it's not good i don't it would think turn your debunk back on back online but like who even cares he he knows that i have dark armed in hand because of the dust shoot. so you know he has full information you know it's not uh it's not looking uh pretty honestly he just needs a ravine though and he's chilling a ravine or a ducks or a terraforming yeah, yeah that's a lot of good topics oh, he, he just passes yeah I, mean, I I think setting the phalanx would have been acceptable there, you know, because, like, why yeah. not? And I get this nasty MST top deck, so I cut off 50% of his draws. <laughs> All right. Actually sacked. <laughs> yeah, I saw him activate that, and uh, I was a pretty happy boy. I was like, ooh. Poor Joe, he didn't deserve this. <laughs> yeah. But now I'm defenseless. The Phalanx is in grave. Any Ducks top deck or second ravine or terraforming just ruins my day. Because I draw Heavy Storm like a psychopath. Yeah, that's not too good in this situation. Hmm, not looking good for Joe, though. <laughs> he needs to find something on oh, me. Uh oh. <laughs> <sighs> Poor Joe. Man cannot catch a break this game. Yeah, he's having a rough time. It's not over yet, though. There's hope, you know. He still is one top deck away. You gotta set something here. Yeah, he definitely sets. Uh, yeah, he sets the Aquas. Passes. So I draw Rota. Rota, and just so we're clear, my targets for Rota are Doppel junk. or Junk Synchron. So, I didn't really want to search either. <laughs> probably not doesn't do much yeah so the only thing it does is it like potentially puts him on a timer like i can uh, do swing direct with junk synchron for 13 but that just feels really yeah. really bad if this game extends. Maybe should do it. <laughs> <laughs> three turn clock baby yeah well i just kind of decide to die it I was okay, thinking no. of bluff setting the heavy, but I was like, no, nah, there's no point in that. And then I just attack and pass. All right, here, he will draw dot no. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. He can set... No, why would you set max C? You should set the mailer, man. I have the most yeah. broken hand for any situation except exactly this one. Like, I have, like, some of the most god cards in the format, and they're just terrible. Yeah. You're gonna search Junk Synchron and bring back the Spore, and then he's really gonna wish he had that Mac team draw. <laughs> I do actually have to do that. I was like, you know, I guess, <laughs> I guess I take back the Spore. The thing that sucks is it specifically says defense position, and I had game if it wasn't for that. Mm. Yeah, unfortunate. But it's okay. We keep him on the clock. And I figured any synchro monster he makes here doesn't out everything, so I just hope to draw a non-tuner on the next turn if I can't just win. Alright, what does he draw? Uh-oh. Okay, that does not... <laughs> make the actual plays. 
I mean, he could get a deep prison or technically a mirror force to stay in the game, like just force the Stardust. Um, mm. He's under decree. Oh, true. Yeah, he can't do anything. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> I was building suspense for the viewers. You know, With no suspense. It's over. <laughs> so, oh, it's a water. Yeah, it was kind of a it was kind of a brutal set of games there for you know Junk Doppel, you know, and since I have you here, Carpath, I might as well ask you, of the remaining decks in Tournament of Tournaments, what do you think's winning it? You have to remind me what the main, remaining decks are. <laughs> okay, fair. There's currently TG Stun, Infernity, Junk Doppel, mm. and then the next week's match is either going to be. Heroes or Jurak? <laughs> I think I know the answer. Jurak's best deck, baby. 100%. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I mean, I have to I try to beat Joe's heroes with Jurax, and that sounds like nightmare fuel. When I heard heroes, I was like, oh, maybe heroes take. But then I heard Jurak. I'm like, mm -hmm. no shot. It's Jurax. Hey, heroes lose That's to Lance, like and I got three Lance in that Jurak deck. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. True. Three Lance main. We're doing it for Amazing Mike, man. <laughs> but yeah, that that's that's the episode. That's our that's this week's tournament of tournaments. So thank you for coming in here, Carpath. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Anytime. On the spot, two hours before I upload this. <laughs>